What's going on guys? Ross here, back for another shave. It's been a little while, so apologies, but I'm here today to do a second chances challenge shave. Uh, I was tagged by John over at Lather Hog to uh, partake in this unique uh, sort of challenge. And I gotta say, I'm, I'll be frankly honest, I am dreading this shave a little bit. Um, the preface for the second chance challenge is to utilize products that maybe didn't work for you in the past or that you've maybe neglected even for for a while and um, you know give them a second chance and uh, shave with them again. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I actually don't even have a tub of what I'm using as far as the cream today but I do have a sample which I'll be using and that is Taylor of Old Bond Street Eaton College. So I have had pretty bad experiences with tobs in the past. It has just simply not worked for me. I know that it really is a classic brand. It is beloved by many, but it simply has never worked for me. And I was honestly surprised to see that I still have this sample around in the den um, because typically, and what's made this shape particularly unique um, is that if I don't like it, I typically don't keep it around the den. So the fact that I had this, um, I guess I was just due for something like this to to happen or something along the lines of this challenge. So, so that's going to be the cream that we're using today. I've actually, for the sake of time, already bowl lathered it, and um, it's it's pretty much ready to go. Got it loaded up here in my um, Omega Evo synthetic brush, and I'm going to be using a DE today. I've uh, I've got the West Coast Shaving Toothsome Head here on the. Um, West Coast Shaving Charcoal Goods Hyperion handle. And the blade that I have loaded is one that has not exactly worked well for me in the past, and that's a Permasharp blade. So um, yeah, I've got a couple things that obviously I'll be revisiting. I, I'm not expecting much out of this shave, but um, I've probably come a lot further since the last time I've used these, uh, this blade in particular and the, the cream. So maybe it'll end up being a little bit better. It will remain to be seen. So. And also following John's lead, um, since he tagged me, I'm just gonna go through this video unedited. Hopefully it doesn't last that long and we'll just get right through it. So I'm gonna wet my face and we'll get right to it. All right, so I've got just a day's worth of growth. So let's get this going. Now, my issues with tops in the past has been um, in just about every metric imaginable. Um, lack of slickness for me, um, lacking sort of that density that just sort of a nourishing feeling that you get from most soaps and even some other creams. It just really has been lacking in that department for me. And even aside from, you know, just even the performance aspect, um, the scents for Tobbs are just way, way too light for me. Um, Eaton College is a unique one. It is a, it is a citrus and floral sort of scent with a base of patchouli. I believe this has a uh, lemon, orange, and mandarin as these citrus notes. I'm not sure of the floral notes, but um, I do know that it sits on more of a warmer base of patchouli. And as has usually been my experience with Tobbs, I, I really honestly don't get a whole lot from the scent. It's not a unpleasant scent, but there's just really, there's not much to it. Um, if I'm being honest, it just sort of smells like a, uh, almost just like a generic soap that you would find at like a public store or a restaurant. It's, 
it's nothing in your face. It's just kind of a scent that's there. Add a little bit more water to this. I do want to make sure that I give this a fair, true second chance and make sure that it's uh, well hydrated. And again, in no way is this, you know, in my thoughts, reflective of Tobbs itself. This is purely my experience with this. And I'm hoping that this shave might uh, kind of change my opinion. So as I mentioned, I do have one day's growth, um, fresh permasharp loaded here. So let's see how this goes. I think my issue with permasharps in the, in the past is that, um, it's definitely been sharp, but it hasn't really been uh, a smooth blade for me. My shaves are rather rough with them. Now, to be fair, um, I've you know I've had similar experiences with. A few other blades as well. Um, I think my experiences with, especially with DE blades, um, although my my preferences are very similar to, I feel like most in the community. Um, you know, my go tos are pole silvers and Gillette silver blues, and also the uh, the Wisdomit blades. But in terms of other ones that I enjoy, I feel like they're a little bit more obscure. And take it with a grain of salt, as you know, I I primarily use straight razors these days, but I do like to throw the occasional change up with a DE, especially when my straight razors are in need of honing. Which I have recently gotten into over the last few months. Um, it's been an adventure so far. been quite a learning curve okay so the first pass uh, no issues I think uh, the cream has held up on its side of the bargain so far with this shave um, I do wonder about the blade the blade uh, still kind of holds true to uh, how I remember it. We're really gonna find out on this next pass. I did get myself on my neck uh, my last shave yesterday, so there's a good possibility that, um, that I find myself with a weeper or two on this second and final pass. And I've had some great shaves with this 
toothsome head from West Coast shaving. So I know it's not a matter of the, uh, the razor itself. I obviously don't really change my approach with, uh, with, with shaving and my technique. So if something doesn't work, it just doesn't work for me. I think you can kind of even see with the soap. I just, I mean, there's still some, some light little air bubbles there, which I mean, I have definitely hydrated this plenty. That just tells me that this cream just doesn't, just doesn't get that density that I usually enjoy from most soaps. It just tends to stay on the airy side. All right, here we go for pass two. Wow. I can even tell in this, uh, I can already tell off the bat, even sort of the uh, efficiency is, uh, is lacking with this blade, which is surprising because I do recall it being fairly sharp, but you can hear the feedback, but I can clearly feel that there's still some hairs that are not getting picked up and this is a fresh blade, so. If I have to, you know, if I have to do any buffing or at least excessive buffing, then that's that's clearly a, a problem. And again, in, in, in my case, I have very, very coarse facial hair. So if a, if a, if a blade just has the tendency to, to lack that sharpness, it's probably just not going to work for me like it would most people anyway. I shouldn't have to be buffing or using any excessive pressure. That just doesn't work out well for anybody. I will say that um, my experience thus far in this shave with tops is definitely better than I recall. But that said, it uh, it's still just it severely lacks compared to the the artisan soaps and creams that were kind of spoiled with these days Well, I gotta say, I'm, I'm feeling much better than, uh, than I initially expected. Um, I truly was expecting sort of Weeper City, if you will, and um, I really didn't wanna have to edit this shave at all, and I wanted to be, you know, a true second chances shave, and so far, I don't know if that's a Weeper or not. It's not, my face doesn't feel the best, but I'm certainly DFS, which I can live with. That's probably the majority of my shaves anyway. Um, it's rare that I ever try to push uh, BBS anymore. Um, 
man, yeah, my face feels fantastic. So um, I'm just gonna rinse off some cool water and we'll get to the post shave. Yeah, just a little bit left on my neck, but that's usually a very sensitive area and I try not to buff too much there. So that's nothing unusual, but the rest of my face feels fantastic. All right, and then for the post shave, this isn't one that I typically use very often, um, just because there's really a lot of great post shave products that are out there now that are great for skin nourishment and just really enhancing the already stellar sort of post shave feel, if you will, um, on most soaps and creams these days. So I'll be using Fine L'Orange Noir, which I believe is exactly what John used um, in his Second Chances Shave. So figured appropriate. Um, obviously got that citrusy aspect. It's based off of Terre de Hermes. Really fantastic scent. But yeah, needless to say, fine aftershaves um, are nothing more than your fragrance, water, and alcohol. And menthol. So, usually you're just met with some burn, which surprisingly, I really don't have any. Um, that is a big surprise for me because I fully expected at the end of this shave that I would probably be really irritated and um, again with potential weepers. So I'm really happy with where that is. The scent is fantastic. Longevity is probably a couple hours on, on fine aftershaves. Not, not a huge deal for me, but this smells fantastic and my face feels great. Really no burn from the aftershave, so I, I can't complain. So that's the shave for me. Um, again, turned out a lot better than I expected. Uh, I'm not gonna tag anybody, but if anyone that follows, I, I'm not really quite sure who's been tagged already and who's done videos, so I do apologize. I haven't been able to keep up with videos quite as much as I used to, and there's just a lot, a lot of new wet shavers out there that are on YouTube, which is great to see, it's fantastic. So um, I, I hope that trend continues. I suspect during our current uh, crisis with COVID-19 that we might see some more people pop up, give their thoughts on different products, maybe start their own channels out of boredom or something, but um, I guess we'll see. Uh, so if you see this and you wanna participate, feel free to, to throw a video out there. Um, feel free to let me know. I'll, I, I'll be sure to try to check it out. And um, I, ho I hope that everybody is staying safe out there using you know just the basic precautions and just look out for your fellow man. It, there's a lot of, craziness going on out there. A lot of people are getting sick. I think we just need to work together as just as a, as humanity. Um, just, just look out for each other and just take all necessary precautions because this coronavirus is really doing a number on the livelihood of, of everyone. So just look out for each other, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing y'all for another video, hopefully soon. Take care.